Okay, for the machining, the first thing we want to do is get this rough stock off of here. So we're going to go to Toolpaths, Rough, and we're going to pick our chain starting from here. And I just want to go up to the end of that radius because all this has already been turned. Okay, that. I'm going to select this tool here for my roughing and add a comment. And I'm just going to say rough the nose. And for our parameters, again, uh, similar to before, I'm going to do a semi finish cut of about 30 thousandths. Lead in, lead out. I want to extend my lead out um, not too far. I think if we went another 40 thousandths past the end of the radius that should be enough to clean it up and we'll okay that alright no big revelation with that but now we're gonna look at something that we haven't done before we're gonna look at doing some c-axis machining we're gonna use a live tool to cut around the outside of this hex now remember this little radius in here is a 1 16th radius. So we're going to pick an end mill with a 1 16th nose radius so it'll give us that blend at the bottom. For most of your basic C axis tool paths, you just go to Tool Paths, C axis. You have face contouring, which is what we're going to be doing, and you have cross contouring, which is for cutting on the outer diameter. So let's start with the face contour. Select our chain. Well, we don't have any geometry on the front of the part here, so we're going to select from our solid. I want to pick an edge as a loop, but I'm not picking a face. So I'm going to pick this edge right here. It shows me one face, but I want the other face. And now we can see there's a blue ring going around the outer area. Okay, that. okay here and now for our parameters for c-axis face contour well first we want to pick our tool so let's go to select library tool and I'm already looking at bullnose cutters if you're not you can go to filter and say none except bullnose so then this will only show you the bullnose cutters and we're gonna grab this half inch bull nose cutter down here with a 1 16th nose radius and we'll okay that and for my comment I'll say mill the front hex now let's take a look at our cut parameters we're gonna compensate for that tool in the computer the cutter is gonna to be to the right of that profile if I had picked it in the other direction it probably would have come up as left of profile so I'm actually doing a conventional cut maybe I should have done a climb you can always pick it differently if you like we're not doing multiple cut depths but I do want a lead in and out so I'm gonna turn on lead in out for my entry I want to come in tangent and the length of this tangency I want it to be 180 percent of the diameter of the tool so I'm going to give myself plenty of clearance to lead into it but I don't want to blend in on an arc so I'm going to set that to zero for my lead off or my exit I want to come off tangent I'm going to set this to 30 percent with a 30 percent arc and a 90 degree sweep we are going to do multiple passes. I basically want to do one rough cut and then one finish cut of 50 thousandths. In our linking parameters, we'll set up our depth. I'm going to set my depth equal to, well, it needs to be something on that face. If I pick that edge at the bottom of the fillet, it should come up as minus 0.75 that's the depth everything else we're gonna leave it 
as is and we'll say OK and there's our cuts around the profile so it starts out here leads in cuts around you can see we've got a small lead off there's the arc and the line and then it goes back to the starting point and does our next cut for our finish cut so that is C-axis face contouring it's really pretty straightforward